Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Country Download. I'm your host, Shane Talent, and I'm joined, of course, by Samantha Stevens and the Ant-Man. Hey guys. Hey everybody. Each week, we bring you all of the country news headlines and topics you want to hear about and you're probably talking about around the water cooler, but we do it in a hurry on a short, short time limit. So let's get to it. Let's start the download. Sad news this week in country music, Mindy McCready dead at the age of 37 by an apparent suicide. Sad story, guys. It's a very sad story. A lot of people have been tweeting about it. And, you know, I think one was very well said by Shelly Wright. She said, uh, obviously, really sad to learn the news about Mindy McCready. I'll be praying for her children. And I hope that people are gentle with her memory. And I hope so, too. She's been in the, in the limelight for, for so many reasons that had nothing to do with her music. Yeah, and she was apparently working on some new music, but even that still was tinged with such sadness. Yeah, that song's actually titled, it's called I'll See You Yesterday, and I spoke to one of her closest friends who spoke to her the night before she killed herself, and the last thing she said to him was, make sure you get the master tapes of that song we just recorded, and now, in hindsight, it seems that may have been her suicide note. Sad, sad story. Rest in peace, Mindy. Okay, moving on. The Bachelor and the Bachelorette. Everyone watches that show religiously. I know my wife does, and she forces me to. A lot of country stars of are showing up on the show. I watch it because of the country stars. I'm just yeah. saying. My boys, the Eli Young Band, have been on there. Gloriana, they've been on there. And I did notice that uh, uh, there was a big story about Sarah Darling, who's actually been on this season twice has seen a huge uptick in sales of her latest single on iTunes. So it's interesting because I think the, I don't even know his name, uh, and I really do, but uh, just to save face. Sean. Uh, the, okay. Thank <laughs> you, you, Shane. You have no interest I you in saving face. You are forced. Uh, he, uh, he said, I want to introduce you to my favorite band, the Eli Young Band. And I'm like, really? Are they really your favorite band? Well, or? he has good taste. Even well, he does. Oh, absolutely. I'm not I'm not uh, discrediting that. I just wonder if these are really his favorite. I think, listen, it's a win for the country stars. That's an incredible platform. Do you have any idea how many people watch that train wreck a week? Not me, <laughs> because I only watch it on the episodes where country stars appear. Let's not forget Dolly Parton was on The Bachelor as well. That's uh, true. Yes, and I pledge allegiance to Dolly. If it's good enough for her, it's good enough for me. That's a big episode. Fair yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. womp, womp, womp. Let's hit the country road. Each week we we hit the road and we talk to some of the country stars and see what they're up to. And this week, Brett Eldridge was nice enough to give us a shout out from an interesting place. What's up, everybody? It's Brett Eldridge. I just want to say, hey, it's my first day off at uh, in Nashville. I'm at the paintball field. I just got nailed right in the mask. But life is good. I love to play paintball on the road. But I want to say hey to Country Download. I hope to see you guys soon. See ya. Was he playing paintball with some pterodactyls or something? <laughs> All I, I was distracted no, by the bird. No, he was whole actually time. playing paintball with me, and I, I shot him in the face. Ooh, Booyah, nice Eldridge. shot. Nice Boys shot. Boys and your entertainment, you are crazy. I'm never playing paintball with you. <laughs> hey. Shane. I've got welts all over my body, and it's been two weeks, so. <laughs> <laughs> ACMs are around the corner. The nominations have been announced, and now it's time for our picks. Let's get to it. We'll start with you, Sam. Entertainer of the Year. Okay, got to say, I'd love to see Blake Shelton take it. Would love it. Blake was the big winner at the CMAs. I'm going to go with Jason Aldean on this one. Good pick. Ooh. But we can't, pick? we can't forget that it's fan voted, too, so Taylor Swift Army is definitely going to rise <laughs> up. Very true. It's going to be hard to beat, but I'm going with the sleeper, Miranda Lambert. Oh, well, that's not a bad pick, though. And that's the thing with all of these. There's, there's no bad pick in any of it. Absolutely. Yeah. And it is her first year, so you're, you may be onto something there, Shane. Yeah, very true. All right, next category, male vocalist of the year. Again, I think that this is going to be Blake Shear again in this category. Would this be the fourth year in a row? I think that he's actually won this, so I don't think it's going to change. I like how by the time this award's given away, he is already toasted. And that's who I'm going to go with, too, Blake Shelton. You just want the acceptance I, speech. Again, sleeper pick, Eric Church. No, that's wow. pretty good, too, though. Wouldn't be upset at all. Yeah. How about female vocalist of the year? Okay, this is where I have to have a, ugh, as much as I love Miranda Lambert and would love to see her continue her hot streak, I think Carrie Underwood might upset it this year. She's had a huge year at radio, a massive tour. I think Carrie might take it for Miranda this year. I thought I was going to be going out on my own saying Carrie Underwood, but it looks like we've agreed on nope. two, Sam. Seeing eye to eye on that one. I am going with Miranda. I am. Why am I the oddball? 
well, that's for after the show, Shane. But. So How about you? album of the year? <sighs> please, 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 Chief by Eric Church, all the yeah. way. Best I'm album. Lo- I'm looking at these. You know what? I think it's been a big year for Little Big Town. I'm going to yeah. keep my fingers crossed and go with them. Yeah. I'd love to see them win it, but I think Eric Church, Sam, I'm in your corner with this one with Chief. Oh, so now I'm the oddball. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, song of the year. Springsteen, Eric Church. I just need this in my life really big. I need it to win an ACM. That song was brilliant. It was just amazing. He's got to win. Springsteen, I mean, playing this song on the radio, it still does not get old. I'm you, going with Springsteen. You too. remember the first time you heard that song and you literally oh, yeah. went, oh, yes. Yeah, I and have, I think I the sleeper of all picks for me is Woman Like You, Lee Bryce. Which is also That's a great song. It's kind of like song, yeah. picking your favorite child, which you just shouldn't do. <laughs> <laughs> you're right, you're right. Well, the ACMs are going to be interesting because there are a few couples that are going to go head-to-head. We've yeah. got Jana and Brantley and Miranda and Blake. Yes. Interesting. Somebody going to be sleeping on the couch. I think something to keep an eye out for is if one of them does win when a seat filler comes in and now you've got some random chick sitting next to Brantley yeah, and Cooper. See, see, see. <laughs> You saying that I analyze stuff too exactly. much. Is, yeah. How about That's Twitter pated? We always check the world of Twitter and see if country stars are tweeting the funny things, the ridiculous things. And Charlie Daniels apparently uh. goes pee in the middle of the night. He recently <laughs> tweeted this. Home is where you can find the bathroom in the middle of the night without turning on a light. Yeah, I mean, because sometimes you just end up in a closet. <laughs> Guilty. That's a skill you can take to the bank right there. Well, yeah, Seriously. I think so, too. How about country stars hitting the small screen? Recently, the show Nashville, of course, being taped here for the last year plus, yeah. a lot of country music artists are stepping in front of the camera, not to sing, but to act. Well, of course I, they are in Nashville because they're all planned around when their CD or their singles release, though, too. Have you noticed that? But in a slightly less jaded answer, I kind of think it's awesome. The show really doesn't need any added legitimacy factor, but it kind of does sort of add a huge, you know, ounce of credibility to see Chris Young and Brantley Gilbert. Granted, they did show up to that number one party that happened right after the song went on the charts, but we're just saying. But I think it's great. And now Kip Moore is going to be on it. Right. You know what I'm waiting for is the run-in between Juliet and Taylor Swift on that show. Ooh. Mm. That'd be interesting. Battle of whose curl is tighter. I hear well, a song they, we know they already live being in the written. same building in real life. That is true, yeah. actually. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it. We're out of time. We're at, that's I know, it. I know this is the saddest part of each week for you guys, but we're out of time. The download is over. But all of you out there, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out all of the other shows here on Country Now. We'll see you next Friday for Shane Talent. That's me. For Ant Man. That's him. And Samantha Stevens. That's her. We'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.